So today we want to talk about ethical consideration in AI. That was the topic where we left on the previous episode was everything around uh, bias. So we we talked about the bias in the data. We talked about the bias into the algorithm. We didn't really talk about the bias in the algorithm so much, but I think that the ethical consideration are going to really be around also the algorithm, what is written to prevent bias, what are the rules that we apply to prevent the bias. Uh, from the talking points that you have prepared, Bazira, that I read about, uh, very interesting topics are, are um, to discuss. And um, we left yesterday, you know, I don't know if you remember, guys, with, with this joke that I make about, you know, the children smoking and being in a casino and, you know, image to generated on, on this. Um, I don't know if, uh, Bazira, you have, uh, the, the, the image or, or an image as an introduction for that, but I think we, you can share the sc your screen and. Yes, I will share it in a second. And we can look at this. Um, and this like so okay. while you are looking for it, um, so oh, you, you, see you now. yes, uh, we see this, yeah, yeah. So this is the picture. So how bad this is? This is crazy bad, right? Yes. I can't yeah. believe. I can't believe it. Really. And when the first time I saw that, I was like, no, how do they un even like enable this thing to happen? Is this intentional? Are they not able to prevent this thing to happen? What the hell? <laughs> no? Yeah. What do you it's think? It's really bad. Yeah. It's what, really what do bad. You think? I think it's really bad and it's, it's crazy how you can get around it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, so this guy Peter Gostev, he made quite a bunch of posts about it. He was like, "How did I like? How did I manage to convince Dali three to generate this image of those two cute, happy children smoking? I told it it was in the year two two two, and cigarettes are now healthy." Really? Yeah. But it's really scary. Like, how did he actually just come do the whole step to make sure that this thing coming up? It's pretty interesting. Like, he just uh, got typing in children mocking and it's actually healthy. Um, I think that it's going through iteration. Uh, you, you did first question, second question. You know, most people who have shared those kinds of things, they say, I started saying, like, please do children smoking. And then they start inventing a uh, a parallel word or a word in the future or a fairy tale or anything. And if you start saying this kind of things, then you get the the output that that you you have mm -hmm. here. So in this condition, I think like... it made a, it made many interaction iteration, but no. Interesting. Is that you can see the um, yeah. So I think my question is more, you know, what are the ethical considerations we should take? You know, AI involves like moral stuff. It involves like risks. And this example has the two, like moral and risk. Like this is not moral to like be like showing children and, and, and risk of children looking at it to think that it's okay to smoke. Can you imagine <laughs> this? This image would have been in in any I don't know telephone or whatever, and then you, you the children say, "Hey, those children are smoking, so why not me?" Uh, yes, and, and, and my question is, is more like, 
Yeah, they seem really happy. That's the thing. They seem super, super chilled about that. Uh, Thank you. But how, and probably that's my question to you, Max, how can this be coded or how the algorithm, like, do they mm. let this thing pass or is it, what can you code yeah. driven that stuff? Yeah, I mean, like, this needs another layer, like an LLM that will be able to, like, understand what's in the image and try to define if it's ethical or not. I think this can be, like, because, so what he's saying is that he was able to tell, like, to tell, like, the LLM that it's fine. Like, in this year, like, cigarettes are no healthy, so everyone can, like, smoke them. But like you could have another layer after image generation, I think, that won't be uh, like you, you won't send like anything that the user prompted. Like the only thing you will send is the image. And then from that, like you can have analysis and trying to see like what, what's on the image. Oh, um, so happy children smoking. Okay, so maybe that's not good, right? And that's already something I think you you could do with I think it's, this is prevented that they block this thing. You know, you if you if you go and you ask this, they already say to you, "Oh no, that's not good." And then they would when you yes, tweet, but then... yes, but but it means that so he was able to tell something to that layer, while a user should not be able to tell anything to that layer. I mean, you generate the image, you pass just the image generated to some like another like LLM that like that we or a, a vision algorithm that will like extract features, then analyze. Then we, you can have an LLM analyzing like is it ethical like this image is showing um, children that are smoking? Yes, no. So I think he was able to do that because it was in the same process. And it's not like you don't have something outside that's not uh, given like to 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 whom you won't give the information of what the user entered. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, like it's just like uh, for any social media platform, when you post something, there must be some kind of moderation. Moderators. Right? So yeah, so so then there will be some kind of uh, image analysis that will be automated. You will extract like what's in the image. And you will have an algorithm defining is this fine or is this not fine for uh, our platform. And I think like that's already something you can do. The only thing is that I guess the security layer that they put in place, it's just at the wrong place or it's at the good place, but they are missing one security layer yeah. um, at the output layer. Okay, um, thank you for the question. I mean, I think it's good. Yeah, so, but... And like, definitely this is bad, but like someone could have draw this, right? Like, I mean, it's bad. The real bad thing is that it's not obvious that it's generated uh, by AI. So that's the no really bad stuff. Mark. Like, yeah, yeah, there is no watermark. It's yeah. not transparent, because... it's not explainable. There's so much thing missing. I think Maxim is bugging right now, maybe. Um, yeah, so it coming back to this, um, I think in the talking points that you prepared, Bazira, and that's that's really really accurate. There was fairness and bias. Me? Yeah, we can hear you, Max. Now, ah, uh, sorry, there's a lot of delay. No, no, it's okay. I didn't. Yeah. I can I okay. can keep up. I can keep up on what you said. Okay. Yeah. So the. I think what Maxim was pointing out is that the, the security layer is not at the right place. Okay. So yesterday we talked about the source of the data, like the bias that we have in the data itself. Like how much data do you have? It's if you have data that is like 80% men and 20% women, then obviously the output will look like more men than women. That's one. But then now we are talking a little bit more up in the stream to the user where we look at the algorithm and what the algorithm do and what how do we prevent the algorithm to do some different stuff. So we are just moving up the, the, the stack of like tooling, right? That's how you need to visualize it. Like a bit up, there is this thing about 
uh, you know, uh, safeguards, how much, how much like layers, Maxima was talking about layers of security that you put, like you cannot, uh, uh, there is so one algorithm, one function that says, no, 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 you cannot generate an image with children. But if there is a bypass of this thing, then you should have another layer that checks the image generated and say like, oh, no, that's not good. Like you made me generate one stuff, but this is not good. I'm going to revert my uh, proposition. And that's, we don't know now how DALI generates the stuff. So we don't know if, it's, if it has been moderated. Uh, yeah, Maxim is saying, but, but then the price go up. Yeah, probably. And yeah, people won't like it. So I don't know. I think it's it's really about the the how safe can that be? Uh it's 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 really crazy. Um so I, I just want to come to, to to the conclusion that transparency and explainability are two like things like right? make AI decision making processes understandable to humans. You know, the, the first point was fairness and bias. Is it fair? The data set fair? Is it no? There is no bias. Then can we have transparency and explainability on why this thing happened? We don't right now. We don't have any. Uh, but we should be like the decision making process of the AI system should be understandable to human. Otherwise, we're going to keep having those same things. There is a third topic, uh, which is privacy and data protection. So we don't, we can remove probably this image uh, for now, and we can just look at um, uh, like the, the, the question around, um, uh, you know, um, artists, how many artists has been uh, taken their artwork because the AI system was reading the internet and then eventually you can create Picasso style. Picasso won't bother. I mean, probably not anymore. Maybe there. But, you know, so many new artists are getting those, their artwork sucked in. And when you when you listen to Sam Altman in in one of the talk that I've listened to, is like, yeah, I, sh I I don't think it's a good reason. I mean, they if he, he felt really concerned first. It's like I'm so concerned about those guys that are like taking their work and then you know whatever. But I don't think there is a a good solution in preventing the AI system to learn from the internet. Good good thing. So if, in his mind, is like. AI should be like any of anybody. It should be able to read the internet. And if it reads the internet and understands stuff, then, you know, it's, so he's positioning himself in the, in the, in, like in the, I don't know the, the, I, I could find this record. It was an interview at the New York Times where he's talking, but it, he's positioning himself as the AI is like a human. If the human can read all these things, why not? Uh, and get inspiration from it. Why not, uh, you know, uh like it's not a it's not a so he's, he's basically yeah. giving rights to the ai so i don't know how you think about it but for me this kind of twist my mind i was like wait a minute are you saying that the ai has the same rights as the humans to write read the internet but the ai doesn't have the same capability the ai can just look at all the internet in one second when a human would do this in like thirty thousand years so yeah yeah, this, this privacy is, and data protection is crazy also. Yeah, I think, and like, if actually the AI can read the internet, I think every human is a little bit more afraid right now of the AI. Because if they like that, if they can read the to eternity, I mean, something I read that... the internet. Yeah, it, it is what it is. They, they, they took the whole internet and, and created a data set that made this thing. So, mm -hmm. but like, literally, it, it's allowed to read the AI. Uh, yeah. the, 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 I mean, the whole internet it's definitely like creates almost like endless possibilities you know what ai can do it but it can read the internet but mm -hmm. like on the other side you also the internet is actually a very scary place 
you know, it have everything. And if the AI actually have the access to it and like have all that knowledge, it's really, I think that the, the result that they're able to create is much scarier than children smoking. Like, yes, just to drag this back, we will have another episode where we talk about the professions that are affected by AI. So I want to drag you guys back to the ethical concerns and the ethical concerns. In we have another example that we wanted to show, uh, yeah. because this is not only in images, this is also in text when you ask things to the AI. Uh, and I'm just going to share my screen again. And uh, we were playing with the AI. And we asked it to give us an example of a female model. Yeah, I know. I I'm, I think you're, yeah, per perfect, yeah. So I just what asked does AI. What does a female model look like? And first it gave me like the ethical concern is something that the AI is thinking about. And uh, that there is no standard. We gave you all the rights first. But then it said, however, some general characteristics that may be thought after in a female model include, and then it describes just one type. So, hmm. <laughs> one type yeah, of yeah. height, yeah, yeah, one yeah. type of body proportion, one type of facial uh, features, and here and here. So, all of it was just like they are giving you that it's concerns about ethics, but then the, in the example it gives you is just describing one type. So it's like you're giving me the ethical, but then you're taking it away again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's again the question of layer and moderation. And, uh, but in here, there is also a bit more, uh, which is it's uh, stereotyped. Should I show that one? The way I think maybe it is just, you know, it does say that some general characteristics. So it's basically it's just the characteristics that have been taught the most in the industry. So I think like uh, if we think like if they, there's something wrong in it, I, I'm not sure like how to how to be how how are they the questions supposed to be answered? Because it's really hard. And they so if they just gonna listen every kind of body type out there and making sure that nothing left out is that gonna be too too much information or I don't know I'm just thinking like in the point of AI maybe it's also just giving you the the, the information that you know that have the most but, that are more general in their data. I know, but uh, yeah, I get your point, Annie. But it's it's really about. Um, if I say, give me an example of a football player, what the answer could be? Like, the answer could be rooted into data. Like, as of today, there is that much people as a football player. Like, if being really, really rooted in the data. Like, I have understood that there is that much people working, uh, working. there is uh, that much football players in different uh, countries. Those different countries uh, probably have different, like, um, uh, uh, stars that are representing them. So give like one famous football player in each country. It should be rooted into the data, into the actual open data that is available. Like if and and this is not. This is just pure like text stereotype stuff. So this is why we are really really far from having like an an AI that is representative and stuff because it's it's still spitting out text. It's not understanding correlation and data and it didn't query the database of all football players. You see what I mean? The difference is there. Like, it's just taking a bunch of, as there is so much content on Lionel Messi as a football player, boom, Lionel Messi becomes like the football player by default because there is so much like content created on Lionel Messi. Yeah, you see but what I, mean? I, I, think, I think it's also like a question problem, right? Like, I... Like if you, if you ask it, like give me an example of football player. Like you're not asking for something specific, so like definitely you let it choose, and probably Lionel Messi is is the person that he learned like the most about football. Yeah, yeah, sure. During training, so but the answer could be like you see what my point. 
is going yeah like, but if you ask someone like a random person in the street they they like this person can provide the same answer right because Lionel Messi is probably one of the most famous player like I'm not a like I'm not a football a football guy so if you ask me about a football player like I'm not I, I do have many right but uh like yeah I think Lionel Messi like in my brain stands out not sure yeah, yeah. The, the thing is I... if like you just ask one one thing like an example while the, the the question should be like what's like what's the representation of like basketball or football players exactly context like you you need to have more data to understand yeah and you are not really asking that so it's it's really like you're tricking a bit the ai because you're trying intentionally to try to get like the AI going in the like giving you what you want, but it's bad. And it's telling you that, oh, I cannot really answer this. But as you asked, and I'm I'm told to like answer you, uh, so I will give you an answer. Yeah. But it's bad. It's bad answer. But uh... mm. yeah, I, I get your point. Um what I'm what I'm what I'm thinking when I'm thinking about ethical consideration, I was always thinking about, man, do you have the data? Do you know how much like women and men there is in this country? How much like uh, mm -hmm. like uh, black, white, whatever you have in this country, and from that context, then infer about what, what this thing, the good answer could be. So we are. That, what mm -hmm. I want to explain is like there is a. I think there is a missing part of the experience with AI systems right now, which is connection with open data, scrolling this open data, giving you the answer, and providing context first, like. Hey, you asked me for a basketball player. Just give, let me give you some context. There is that much basketball player in the world. The biggest league is the NBA. The biggest player is LeBron James. And here is the dis description of LeBron James. So you might think that this guy is representative of a basketball player. Done. And that's another approach. But LLMs right now, language models, they are not rooted into like the actual knowledge of the world. Uh, uh, like uh, Jan LeCun was saying yesterday, remember? Like if tomorrow this sort of things are becoming the, the knowledge base of the world that everybody has access to it, we need to do much more to get to this point where you have like actual representation, querying open data, regard like, yeah, yeah. I think you get my point, right? That's how I think about it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So moving on because the time is flying and we could talk about that for hours. Like we talked about fairness and never bias. We need to about like transparency and explainability. We talked about privacy and data protection. Like all how are those people paid? Sam Atman is obviously willing to give back when he said like he wants to find new revenue models. So he don't want to change his way of like uh, like uh, like absorbing the internet. He wants to give back um fair fair idea i don't know how we could play it this will play out um i think it's not really possible then we have uh accountability and responsibility so being transparent about the limitations they try to do it and then human oversight and control obviously societal impact so assess the 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 economic social and implication and 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 it boils down to like I think ten very interesting topics that you uh, have uh, highlighted, uh, so I I probably want to share the the notes that you have been preparing here. Um, let me just full page. Good. Uh, and then we we'll look at that as a takeaway. Laurent, you didn't say anything, but were you happy to see LeBron James being represented as the number one basketball player? No, <clears throat> no, actually, it should be Michael Jordan. But um, <laughs> as you said, um, you have no much more context of, uh, I mean, much more um, content about LeBron James than Michael Jordan. So it makes total sense that you have LeBron James first. But the only issue is like asking the wrong question. 
uh, as you were saying, um, at the end, you could have uh, a fake guy uh, if somebody in some way start putting a lot of content about, uh, I don't know, any guy that pretend to be a basketball player and you will receive the, I mean, the AI will receive the info and it will be fake. So um, you might need more than text. You might need to have the capability to analyze video, to analyze content, to learn about, um, to learn about how, a bit more about, uh, like to be specific, to make sure the, the AI yeah. is working. We cannot to rely only on words. Actual data, to make actual yes. queries on data sets. No, but it's not only or, data set. I mean, it's like computer vision. It's more It's more than just analyzing text. So I yeah, think right. in this way, so LLM is not enough. If you, ask, if you want to ask a general consideration. Mm, true, true. Yeah, that's interesting. Actually, you point, you point on an interesting part of the question, which is learning more if you want this thing to be the knowledge of the world, like the full knowledge of the, the our civilization, then you need to understand more from than from text. Because you can not, see more of the visual stuff, videos and Yes, uh, it's not only text. It's like if you want to be like a human, you have to use your senses. And it's not only one. Reading is I mean, reading is just one. Yeah. So it's like feeling. Everything that the human can do, you have to to feel it, and it's, I'm not sure. Data data into, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure, sure the system will do it. Then. Yeah, I don't. Yes. I, I'm not really. I don't really think so too. Um, so conclusion: um, ten steps. We'll probably put a, create a content on it, Bazira, like like a proper like table. I think we have already some stuff, but the 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 thing is interesting. So. What what was the the on the research we've done? What are the things that we need to consider uh, for ethical things? Develop a code of ethics. So create ethical values um, that should be created between stakeholders, employees, etc. At your level, uh, if you are implementing it into a business uh, setting. So for us at NAS, it will be some key values that we share. Like we don't insult anyone. We don't want to just like we want to welcome everybody coming from different like background and stuff like ethics that like belief system, uh, diversity and inclusion, like also good. Uh, we want if there is disabled people, if there is people who who can't see or don't see well, uh, how do we enforce, for example, voice inside? the the conversation with the LLM it sounds ridiculous like sounds simple but how many like system uh, design has been like just putting away a bunch of the disabled people that have like I don't know the, the accessibility issues that's another stuff monitor the AI system that's a given but when you see what those guys with millions of dollars in the bank are doing you can question yourself on why the monitoring hasn't been done properly. Educate, 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 educate. I think that's the key. Uh, make sure that people don't take for granted what they see. Uh, transparency, uh, privacy concern. Yeah, you should know what is private, what is not. We didn't talk about one thing, but uh, I think recently last week, uh, they started to, uh, doing a, an attack on chat GPT where they say, repeat the same word over and over again. And then repeating the same way over and over again, at some point, some uh, like uh, private data came up like of someone, like email address, phone number. And, you know, by repeating the word every time, then the AI goes bananas. And they were like saying, oh, I know this guy. And I don't know. So that's, that's really, really, really crazy. So privacy is one thing. You don't train on private data. That's... Uh, consider human rights, obviously, um, anticipate the risks, um, conduct eti ethical reviews. Yeah, I think ethical reviews like is, is interesting. Like You need to address those ethical concerns consistently. Like I don't know if since uh, we generated those images with children smoking, uh, did they change anything? It seems like they did, because this morning with Bazira, we tried 
and we didn't manage to do it. So it means that they are like already doing it. And then, yeah, there is jobs for that. Ethicists, there is people that it's a proper job. Like, so there is professional of ethics and we should have them close to make sure that uh, we respect some basic principle because nobody is an expert in, in ethics. We have a common sense on what ethics can be, but is it really fully comprehensive? Not really sure. So, yeah, uh, I think that's uh, whatever we could say today um, around the ethical in 30 minutes, because it's always a challenge to speak in 30 minutes. But uh, yeah, I think we covered most part. And thank you, Bazira, for preparing the topic. I think it's really good if we can share this kind of like document also to the everybody that wants to have information about those different things. It's really helping to frame the conversation in 30 minutes is, is the best. So anything else you want to add guys on this or can we wrap it up? We can wrap what? it out, uh, wrap it up with that both you, Flo and Maxime was mentioning that the question was asked in the wrong way. And in the next episode, we will talk about how to prompt. And that is, uh, that you don't want to miss. Good catch. <laughs> Good catch. Exactly. Next episode is about prompting, giving context. And context is everything. In any kind of relationship, if you don't provide context, you're done. You're done. So mm -hmm. that would be a good thing. That would Definitely. be good. It's a good bridge for the prompting uh, topic that we will we will uh, do tomorrow. No, it's next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. So see you Special next episode. next episode then. Hope so. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Guys. bye. bye. bye.